Romans chapter 10. Romans chapter 10. Let me read from verse 6 to 10. But the righteousness of faith speaks in this way. Do not say in your heart, in your heart, who will ascend into heaven? That is to bring Christ down from above. You know, sometimes you, you're in a situation, you say, ah, I wish Jesus will just come here now. You say, don't say. The righteousness of faith doesn't speak in that wise. It does not say, do not. But the righteousness of faith speaks in this wise. Do not say in your heart, who will ascend into heaven? That is to bring Christ down from above. Or who will descend into the abyss? That is to bring Christ up from the dead for those that think that Christ is still in the grave. But what does he say? The righteousness of faith, what does he say? How does he speak? What does he say? The word is near you. The word is near you. In your mouth and in your heart. In your mouth and in your heart. The word is near you. In your heart, in your mouth and in your heart. And he puts mouth first because that's where we need it to be coming out from. That's where we lack often. Oh, I believe it is so deep in my heart. I believe it. But what do you say? What do you say? What comes out of your mouth by the time you open it? The world is near you. It's not far. The result you need is near you. It's not far. It's in your mouth and it's in your heart. That is the word of faith. The word of faith which we speak. That is the word of faith which we preach. To preach means to declare. That is the word of faith which we declare. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart... One believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. When you believe God, he says, that's my man. But when you speak what you believe, you create reality. Let me speak on create your reality, your own. Your own, create your reality. Stop complaining, create your reality. When you hear me say, I shall never be stranded in life, I'm creating my reality. Are you hear, hearing me? Based on the word, the word is near you, even in your mouth and in your heart. I've read in the Bible, the righteous shall not be forsaken, and, and his seed shall not beg bread. That's enough for me to believe I can never be stranded in life. He said in Hebrews 13, verses 5 and 6, for he has... Let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as you have. For he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So you can boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I shall not fear what can man do unto me. I can never be stranded. Are you here? The world is near you. Create your reality. Create your reality. Don't just believe. Create reality. Deliberately create your world. Deliberately speak, choose your words. Not all this that train all over the place. Loquacity without creativity. Talking ta 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 wasted words. Jesus said that hey, you will give account for every idle word that you speak. An idle word is an inoperative word. A word that creates nothing. Not to talk of the negatives we create. Create your world. Stop talking about the economy of Nigeria. My God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. According to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Not according to the economy of Nigeria. I was with a trader that I've known over years. We are like friends now. 
<laughs> when if I take goods, I can take goods worth several thousands, even hundreds. He won't bother. I said, I'm not paying you now. I send you the money later. He said, he said, he said, you're old. He you said, you're the insurance work over. You pass the one work over Lagos State. Now, so he talk. I remember when I was in school, uh, in secondary school, but there is a teller my elder brother introduced me to, and he was the best teller in Owere then. He was well known then. And so sometimes I send materials to him. He make me some, and then send it. I, tell, I told my brother one day the, uh, that tell the, the so and so that I will still I send his money. I was in secondary school. No, I was in the university then. I will send his money uh, uh, a letter. So he said when he told him, he said, no, 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 no. He said, if it's that your brother, don't bother. Don't bother. He's more credit worthy than Iwanyang. <laughs> Keep your word. Keep your word. Be, a, be somebody, believe in your word. Keep your word. Listen to me. If you're somebody that plays with words, you make promises you're not ready to keep, it's going to affect everything about your life. It's going to affect your entire spiritual life and, and your results. You can't believe God's word. If you're somebody that plays with words, make promises you don't have plans of keeping, it's going to affect you. All around, I'm telling you, Listen to me. I was thinking of something. We had a great time yesterday, the men. The women we are enjoying. We were also enjoying. Men, did you enjoy that session yesterday? We are talking about health matter. It was fun. We had a doctor who came in and then I told us some things I know to have learned over time. When we finished, because some of the recommend when I was talking before the doctor, I talked of vegetables and fruits to make friends with them. Water. Water is one of the cheapest things you can get. Eh? Not where you went. Now you go big man place. Now you pay big man price. I had they were giving you a small bottle for 600 naira. They charge you small. <laughs> anyway. Um, now, but look at the thing. Create your reality. Stop speaking circumstances. Create the reality you desire. By faith, we understand that the words we are framed by words. So two people met me. There were people that met me. Two of them met me. One met me, then another. And I was saying that you say one of the, one of them said that. He said, that doctor, this thing here, he's talking about fruit. And he said that I can't afford it. That he has money. That's why he's talking like that. The second one, after that one left, talked in the same light. Okay, I told, I told, they, 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 okay, why don't you, how much is a cucumber? They, a cu how, many, how many of you know how much a cucumber is? There are, there are some of 50 naira. And it depends on where you buy. There are some of 100 naira. I buy them too. I buy them. They are some of 100 naira. Everything has picked up speed, but that person that is complaining about fruits will drink coke. Are you here? It's not as beneficial to you as fruit. It's a matter of give and take. Opportunity costs. So I said, why not give me? He said, I don't, I, I don't like two of them different, in, in different, they were not sitting together. I said, I don't like eating cucumber. Okay, why we are talking? One of the other, he said, I don't like cucumber. I said, um, I asked him, do you like, what's this uh, malaria drug? What's the name? Mention one at the queen. I asked him, do you like, do you like, he mentioned one. I said, do you like it? He said, I said, why do you take it? Eh? Why do you take it? Because it will heal you. There are fruits. Many fruits don't taste nice. And some of them that are very sweet, like mango. I told you, eat it with caution. It is, there is so much sugar in mango. Just, I was with a doctor one day. I was telling him of a man that came there, came there they, that the blood sugar level. That he was eating like 13 mangoes a, a day. You know, sherry mango. You're, you're eating it like, say... <laughs> the woman said the thing where they sweet they kill too. 
a cucumber will not harm you. You may not like the test, but your body will like it. Are you hearing me? Start by not liking it. Eat it, even though, even if you are angry with it, eat it with anger. Later, you will get used to it. You know, one man told us, one pastor, that his father thought, he said, instead of refusing your wife's food with anger, he said you should eat it with anger. Human beings are positive. Now, even I told him, say, instead of refusing your wife's food with anger, that you should eat it with anger. <laughs> Praise God. Um, but that complaint that we can't afford the fruit, you can afford it. You can. You can afford water. You can. You can afford vegetables. You I talked of garden eggs. He said he doesn't like eating garden egg. Listen, start with the ones you can afford. You may not like the test, but it will help you. But that thing got me thinking, and that's why I'm saying again what I'm talking about faith this week. You can't stay at a level and be complaining at that level. There is a higher level. Are you hearing me? There is a higher level you can attend or shoot for. Create your reality. You see, for you to move from where you are now to a higher level, you need faith. You have to move by faith. You have to act by faith. You have to speak faith. Are you hearing me? And if you think you're lazy, you don't want to apply faith, let me tell you, that place you are now that you're complaining about, you can't afford this and that, it will take faith for you to remain at that level. Because the things that want to pull you down from that level are, are active. And if you're not working in faith, they will bring you to a lower level. Gravity, spiritual and physical, is working on you. Are you here? It takes faith to retain what you have. It takes faith to move higher. Walk by faith. The just shall live by faith. The just shall live. Give me Hebrews 10 from verse 35. Cast not away your confidence. Therefore, which has great recompense of reward. Which is mighty in reward. Don't cast away your confidence. Which has great recompense of reward. For you have need of patience. That after you have done the will of God, you may receive the reward. Verse 36. You have need of endurance. You have need of patience. So that after you have done the will of God, you may receive the reward. The reward. Verse 37. For yet a little while, and he who will come, will come and will not tarry. Some margins have it, that which will come, will come. Whatever result, whatever person. The New King James translates it like an individual, like Christ. But in the margin, in the original translation, you can read it this way. That which will come, will come and will not tarry. What you're waiting for will come through. But you have to be a person of faith. Now, verse 38, now the just shall live by faith. No other way. Now, when? 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 Now. Faith is now. Now the just shall live by faith. Now the just shall live by faith. Not by circumstances. I've been in first, did I, is, it, is it not about the same thing I was talking about last week? Second, about circumstances, right? Rise above circumstances. Yes, that's it. The just shall live by faith, not by circumstances. Not by where you are. There is a higher level. Lift up your eyes. Lift up your eyes. You will hear the Lord telling you, come up here. Come up a little more. And I'll show you more. You will experience more. Come up a little more. Come up a little more. Come up here. There is more. You can start in Jack on the school. But it may not deliver the goods you want as of today. 
your faith has to rise. Don't be at a level complaining at the results at that level. Deciding what you can afford or cannot afford. Set a goal and let your faith go for it. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The substance of your goal. Set a goal. But start with what you have. Start with what you can afford. Start where you are. Start where you are. No, there is hardly any person I've, in all my life, I've not seen any person that says I like injections. Have you seen? Especially nurses don't like injections at all. I've, I've had encounters with several of them. One of them is smiling. They don't like injections. But when they're giving it to you, it's like, uh, what, what's wrong with it? Is it not, as if it's nothing. But they don't like it. They fear injections. I'm still friends, friends with the nurses here. I know them. That I'm telling you, I've had it. They don't like it. Anyway, but how many of us don't like injections? Right? I mean, we don't. But how many of us have taken an injection? But you take it. Why? It will help you. So they, one of them was telling me, he said, he said no, I, I like solid food. <laughs> I said, solid food is here. And uh, that, that, that food, why your body is complaining? That food is not giving you what you need, the body needs. Your body needs. That solid Iba has no minerals, no vitamins, no, uh, uh, no what, uh, what's the other thing? Mineral, no, what's the other Enzymes. To, to give to you that things that your body needs to function properly are not there. Solid food. But the issue is, the issue is, create your reality. Choose where you want to get to and apply your faith. Set a goal. Come up a little more. Come up early. After a mountain, there is always another mountain to climb. Come up a little more. You're not the only person living in Nigeria. He told me that, 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 that doctor, he said the doctor has money. No money to buy orange, have you? What else? Ogo does not cost much. Listen to me. The Bible says that the desire of the righteous is good and shall be granted. Once you create that desire, God begins to walk. Not when there is no desire. There are things I have received just by desiring them. There was a time I was, when the children were small. I remember that one very well. And some other instances. Many times. I, I was wanting to buy them a bicycle. I had it in my, I don't even know if I had verbalized it to, to my wife. Before I knew it, the bicycle came. The desire of the righteous shall be granted. Have you read? Eh? That desire is your heart yearning for something and God sees your heart. Your health is so important that you should pay a price, whatever it takes. After all, otazi is not sweet too. But you chew it, it's bitter. But you chew it, you say with Kobe. Bitter leaf is bitter. You reduce the bitterness, you eat it. There is one that you don't even need. There is a special of it that is not that bitter. Yet you eat it. Now, bitter leaf, oh, but man created a wolf eating it. It's bitter. Oh, I don't like drinking water. I know a nurse that was not drinking water for, for a long stretch. Only Coca-Cola. She has learned to drink water now. It's not the same thing. I don't like drinking water. You need water. About it, it's something percent of your body is water. You're made of water. Drink 
water, sustain yourself. I don't like fish. Fish is not poison. Fish is brain food. If from there you get omega-3 and those things that the brain feeds on. Omega-3 will help you retain your cognitive powers for long. Your brain functions. If food is not, if fish is not harming you, find, learn a way of eating it. Create your reality. So how, what, what, Pastor, how do I do it? The Bible says in Matthew 18 verse 18, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. There are certain things we must bind. There are certain things we must turn loose by faith. Look at Psalm 82. Psalm 82. From verse 1. God stands in the congregation of the mighty. He judges among the gods, Elohim, or judges, people he has committed his authority to. Defend the poor and fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Deliver the poor and needy. Free them from the hand of the wicked. Say they do not know, nor do they understand. God has committed his authority to us. The name of Jesus is our authority. In my name, do this, do that, do this, say this, say that, decline, decree. In my name, use my name, it's your authority. They do not know, nor do they understand. They walk about in darkness like people that don't have light. What's the result? All the foundations of the earth are out of course, the King James says. The new King James says unstable. Everything is going haywire, and we're complaining. The country is shaking. We are complaining. What have you done? But I said, you are God's Elohim. The same word he uses for himself. You are Elohim. And all of you are children of the Most High. Tell your neighbor, do something. Are you afraid to tell them? And let me tell, you, tell your neighbor, do something. Give them a charge, do something. Create your reality. Create your reality. Romans 10, 8 to 10. But what does this say? The righteousness of faith. What does this say? The word is near you. It's not far. The result is near you. Even in your mouth and in your heart. That's the word of faith which we declare. That if you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ. And believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. You shall be saved. That's how I got saved. I believed, I spoke it. After I got saved, when I was still at school, I joined an Anglican prayer team somewhere. I had an Anglican background. So I would go for their prayer days. And they knew I was born again. So there was a way they, then, some of those things have changed now. There was a way they were censoring me. They were very careful with me. You know, they did. There was a way they were marking born again Christians then. But one day the leader made a mistake and told me to do the exhortation. I said, hey, my time has come. I did a short exhortation and made an altar call. They rose up to stop the altar call. They rose up. I said in Jesus' name. Immediately I said in Jesus' name, they, everybody brought down his head. They, some of those people fear the name of Jesus more than we Pentecostals. Immediately I said in Jesus' name, they brought down their heads. So I made an altar call. And quite a number of them in that prayer team 
gave their lives to Christ. They eventually I left that team, I stopped going. So years after I met one of the members in an eatery, he said, Why don't we see you again? Say, why don't you see again? He said, do you know that I got saved? I didn't know that to get saved, you have to speak with your mouth and confess it. That I didn't know. He said, why are you no more coming? He got saved that day. He didn't know that to re receive Jesus. He had been in church. He was zealous, but they are not telling them. They were not telling them the truth, how to get things done. Are you hearing me? You have to say it. Before your relation can be saved, he has to come to the point where with his mouth, he will confess Jesus as Lord and Savior. And then reality says sin. The, is it Colossians 2, 6 or so? Or 1, 6? The Bible says, as you have received Christ Jesus the Lord, therefore, so walk you also in him. So walk in him. Oh, I believe it. It's very strong in my heart. Does it come out of your mouth? Create your world. Create your reality. Create your reality. What you're saying with your mouth will become your reality. Why the children of Israel were murmuring and God was angry and rebuked and the plague came. Moses cried and, and asked and interceded and the, the, the plague stopped. Well, God told him, listen. He said, but I said, okay, I'll forgive him as you demanded, but he said, as long as I live, all those things I had them say with my ears is what I would do to them. They created their reality with their own mouth. Spiritual principles. Create your reality. Don't complain at one level. There is a higher level. There is a higher level. In Matthew 12, verse 37, Jesus said, For by your words you shall be condemned. And by your words you shall be justified. And by your words you shall be condemned. Your words... Your words, by what is coming out of your mouth, you will be set free or bound. You're snared by the words of your mouth. You're taken by the words of your mouth. Proverbs says, you create your reality by your spoken word. But listen to me, listen to me. If you can't afford that thing, what, apart from speaking it, sow it. Buy what you can afford of that thing and give it to somebody. Start giving that thing. Before you know it, it will start coming back to you. Are you here? Are you here? The farmer, the farmer, the wise farmer will not pray only. He will sow. He will sow what he wants to harvest. Because it's what you sow that you will harvest. If he wants a harvest of beans, he will sow beans. That's what the wise farmer does. You can't sow granite and be complaining it didn't give you beans. Sow it. Create your reality. Create your reality. You have to learn how to walk by faith. Though. The environment is not favorable. The system does not work in favor of anyone apart from those that are, that are manning it. I was... I mentioned a, 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 somebody I've known for years, a trader. Okay, that's the one I was <laughs> took me off. But listen to why, why I remember that thing. I was with him. Um, that's not the last time I've been with him. But like two years ago, and there was a man that was there. He said that man is from Niger State. So when we were talking, so when he was telling me something, he said that I should reduce my, he, he, that we should just talk low. Because he didn't want him to hear some of the things he was <laughs> Telling me, you know, but he said this. He said this. Oh, I said, so How are you people doing? He said that business is good. He said, Any businessman that knows what he's doing now is making money. He said, What can this regime do to us? That he mentioned some other regimes that were harsher to them. He said, You know, you've known me for years. Before now, how many shops did I have? But under this man, I have 10 shops in this same island. He said, Anybody that knows that people have become billionaires now. They do any businessman that knows what he's doing is making money, but some others are complaining. Are you hearing me? This Bible says the attack claims are loose. They could not well strengthen their mass. They could not spread the cell. Then is the prey of a great spoil divided. The lamb take the prey. In the midst of confusion, the lamb will take the prey. 
When the ship of state has gone haywire, people get creative and find a way to mine harvest out of it. Stop complaining. Ask God, what steps should I take? What move should I make? Be creative. He said now under this, this regime that he has 10 shops here now. And when I'm talking of shops, it's not a shop where you have, you, you have 1 million naira worth of goods. He said, hey, they're not clean. Are you clean? Very clean. There's nothing like, hey, everybody that has, has money, he did rituals. Look at you. You, many Christians don't even believe in prosperity. Anybody that had a breakthrough, ah, there must be something. Let me tell you one of the things that happened. To, when God, that man has, his father died when he was, he was, he was like, was it three months or the mother was pregnant of him? He said they suffered. He said they, that, so when he sees people suffering, he has this compassion for them. He said his father died in an accident. And that while he died, was, there was no means of taking care of him. They didn't have money to take care of him. So when he sees accident, when he sees an accident victim, he will follow him to the hospital. He can't leave. He just feels that drug and go there and without and pay the bills. He won't even allow them to know his number. But somehow through the hospital, sometimes they trace him. See what happened. They, he started going to China buying things, what he sells, materials. And then, he said one of the trees who went there, yeah, they were searching for what to buy. There were these people that had warehouse of fabrics. They said they wanted to sell it off and go into another business. I asked him if he wanted to buy it off, that they want to go into another line of business. And he, he asked them how much. Either they, he mentioned something or they said, but they, he said, okay, fine. He loaded two containers. He said when he came back and checked it, the whole they came, the thing came out to a 270, and they have 270 naira a yard. He said by the time he first sold the first container that he made 27 million naira. That he didn't make that much in the second container. He said that the news spread in the market that he all go all go. He said you don't do juju for money. That now if that that, that, that kind of juju, I the like him. The favor of God works like juju. You don't know. From that morning, that, that first hit, he built four houses for four widows he knew in their, in their place. Now he picks people from their village, pulls them through, and he just says, that's, that's what he's doing. He's a young guy. He said by the, he will retire by the time he's 50. Every day you see him there, manning his, his business. Create your reality. Create it. Rise up. You can have more. You can have more. By your mouth, you will be justified. And by your mouth, you will be condemned. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, the Proverbs tell us. And those that use it shall eat the fruit thereof. You know, it, depending on what you, are, what you eat depends on what you are using it for. 2 Corinthians 4, 13. As it is written, I have believed, therefore have I spoken. We, having the same spirit of faith, according to as it is written, we also believe and therefore speak. The spirit of faith believes and speaks. He doesn't just believe, he speaks. He speaks. Under the same harsh government, somebody moved from one shop to ten in a highbrow area. Ten outlets. Some other person is complaining. Oh, if you want to complain, there will be ample reason. So, if all you want to do is complain or give excuses, excuses are cheap. Anything can be an excuse. 
Anything is an excuse, whether it's right or wrong. Anything is cheap, very cheap. Criticism is cheap, very cheap. And since we have the same spirit of faith, according to what is written, I believed and therefore I spoke. David spoke, they are quoting David in the Psalms. Let's read that last part, starting with we together. One to go. One to go. Look at that scripture, that last part. One to go. We also believe and therefore speak. Personalize it. I also believe and therefore speak. Speak. My life will be better than this. I'm rising above this level. I, I claim favor with God and with man. This business will work. My food, what I eat will change. What I wear will change. You mustn't always be the one to buy it. Sometimes I enter a, 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 a fast food center to buy it. Before I know it, somebody tells ah, Pastor, yeah, yeah, yeah. they pay. Sometimes I'm not comfortable with it. I entered a shop somewhere in First Ark, a friend of mine, a, a long time. Because I wanted to pick a belt and ask him about some things, other things. Then I met a man. They were discussing. I didn't know that he knew that man. They were discussing. A man that is into politics. They were discussing there. So they were talking, oh, you know this guy, you know we were talking. So I told him I needed a belt. So he said, I was looking at it while they were chatting. He said, okay, there was a one belt he told me to look out for. So the man said that, his visitor said, is, is belt you want? Is he belt? You want belt? He said, he said, give him any number of belts he wants that he will pay. <laughs> he said, in fact, he said he will pay cash. He went to his money and brought a bundle of money. He said, give him any number of belts he wants. <laughs> so I selected two very good belts. <laughs> and because of the way he was going, I didn't want to talk about the other things I wanted to choke. So I left after buying the belts. Later, I went back. <laughs> Favor. Are you hearing me? Everything you have must not be paid with Naira by you. And show goodwill. Be a pleasant person that attracts people. Be nice. Be attractive. He that will have friends must show himself friendly. Are you here? Be liberal. Some of you may never appreciate what a giving life I live. I'm telling you honestly. I don't know about like anything. I value the things I have. Take care of them. Somebody said, ah, this is your glare. I like it. I, like it. I said, this, this, this thing one is, haven't you seen it before? It's like two years or three years now. I take care of it. Whatever I have, cars last long in my hands. Anything I have, I, I, I use carefully. I don't damage things like that. But I'm not, I, I don't hold on to things. None of those things, when it's time to give it out, none of them counts for much to me. Something you must hold on to at any price. Let's close by looking at Ezekiel. Somebody has to speak this morning and start speaking. Pray, speak. Jesus, look at the fig tree that you caused it as withered from the roots. Jesus said, have faith in God. Have the God kind of faith. Verily, verily I say unto you, whoever shall say to this mountain, be cast 
be removed and be cast into the midst of the sea and shall believe in his heart that those things which he says, says, present continuous. Those things which he says shall come to pass. He shall have what he says. That's one way to have results. Apart from prayers. Ezekiel 37. The hand of the Lord came upon me. The hand of the Lord is the Spirit of God. Came upon me and brought me out of out in the Spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley. And it was full of bones. Then he Please get it in the New Living Translation. Then he caused me to pass by them all round. And behold, there were very many in the open valley. And indeed, they were very dry. Get to 37, whoever is there. Verse 3. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? Son of man, daughter of man, can your circumstances change for better? And he asked me, son of man, can these bones become living people again? Oh, sovereign Lord, I replied, you alone know the answer to that. He, he, he did since when he looked at it, the enormity of the problem was much. He didn't want to speak unbelief. At the same time, he didn't know how they could live. He said, God, only you can say. That was a smart answer. Okay. God decided they will leave, but you will be part of the process. Are you here? You will be part of the process of the change. He said to me, son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, oh Lord, you know. Again, he said to me, prophesy to these bones. And say to them, oh dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Speak to dry bones. Speak to dry things. Speak to that challenge. Speak to that problem. Tell it to hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these dry bones. Surely I cause bread to, come enter, to enter you and you shall live. Dry bones, bread is coming on you. You will live. You are going to live. He spoke as the Lord was directing him. So I put, and I, I put sinews on you and bring flesh upon you. Cover you with skin and put bread in you and you shall live then you shall know that I am the Lord. So, I prophesied as I was commanded. So I spoke as I was. I declared, I decreed, I spoke as I was commanded. And I prophesied. As I prophesied, there was a noise. It was like the situation was getting worse. And suddenly rattling, Commotion. And the bones came together, bone to bone. He found out that the bones aligned after that. So the valley was now full of skeletons. Indeed, I, as I looked, the sinews and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them over, but there was no breath in them. Corpses, from skeletons to corpses. But God told him, persist, keep speaking. I'm talking of living beings, not corpses. Keep speaking. Keep speaking. Keep speaking. And he said to me, prophesy to the bread. Prophesy, son of man. And say to the bread, thus says the Lord God, come from the four winds, O bread, and breathe upon this land, and they, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me. And bread came into them, and they lived. 
and stood upon their feet, an exceeding great army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They indeed say, Our bones are dried out, dried up. Our bones are dry now. Our hope is lost. We, and we ourselves are cut off. Say we are finished. It's over for us. There's, that was the state of Israel in exile. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the people, hope, house of Israel. They indeed say our bones are dry and hope is lost and we ourselves are cut off. Therefore prophesy and say to them, thus says the Lord, behold, O oh my people, I come, I will open your graves and cause you to come up from your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. Then I, you will know that I am the Lord. Listen to me. God needs you. He needs your mouth. He needs your heart. He wants to change that situation. But if you're lazy to be part of it, forget the change. If you're too lazy, if you're too lazy to talk, do you know that gisting doesn't take energy? It doesn't take, it doesn't task you. It doesn't put you to stress. Do you know? How do I put it? It doesn't tire you. Gossip doesn't tire you. That's what the flesh wants. But prayers, the flesh will complain. It's not a demon. It's your flesh. We complain. When you want to speak creative words, you want to you want to make certain confessions of faith regularly, your flesh will complain. Yet you want dry bones to live. Who will take the place of our physical this morning? You have to speak. You have to act. The just shall live by faith. Create your reality. Start by speaking the right words. Hit, begin to hit that situation with words of faith. We having that same spirit of faith, attitude of faith, as we believe, we speak.